How's it going everyone? Welcome to another Streamlabs tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use event list in Streamlabs. So what we're going to do is go to our source and we're going to click on the plus and we're going to go to event list. Here you'll be able to see that the event list will be able to show your most recent events on stream and it supports donations, subscriptions, follows, bits, hosts, and redemptions. So go ahead and hit add source, give it a name or leave it as event list. And then once we add the source in, you'll be presented with something like this. Now this is going to be kind of like a preview to kind of see how it looks, but you can also move it over to the side and you can see it right over here on screen as well. So here you'll have manage list, font settings, visual settings, and your source. So in manage list, this might be different for you depending on wherever you stream, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, etc. But you can go ahead and just uncheck the ones you don't want to be shown in your event list. If you want to keep these and just keep it as it is. You can adjust this to show a max of 10 events, or you can bring it down to showing just a max of one, depending on how you want it set up. Inside of the font settings, you can change to different colors. If you know the specific color, you can just put in the hex right here, or you can type in the individual RGB right here or put the hex right here. You can also use a little color picker and you can kind of pick the color you want from in there. Just matters if you care about your branding or not. And then you also have all these different types of fonts that you can go through. There is literally a ton of them and you can kind of preview them by just selecting one. And then you can also adjust the font size if you need to. And then for your visual settings, this is where you'll be able to have it to where it can either be more of like carbon or you can have it to be all these different ones. And you can change the background color form. So if you want it to be like red, then you'll have that. So that way you can kind of see the design a little bit better. You can have a crisscross. So there's all these different ones on here. And that way you can kind of have it be all like customized to your liking. You can also have the theme color, background color changed. As you saw, I changed that to red. You can have it to where the animations will bounce or fade or kind of light up or shake or anything like that. So you can kind of customize that as well. And the same thing with animation out. You can change the animation speed, fade time. You can flip it if you want to. So if you wanted to have it going that way, you could flip it and it's going this way. You can also keep the event history. And then once you have the event history kept or if you want to get rid of it, you can do that too. But I always leave it to where it keeps the event history just so that way people can have their name up there for a good while. Now for source, I don't really mess with anything here. The only time that I'll ever go into source is if I need to refresh the cache for that current page if it's giving me some problems. So just by clicking on that, it will then reset everything and sometimes that fixes it if it gets kind of buggy. And then you can also have it to where you can shut down the source when it's not visible and you can refresh the browser when the scene becomes active. So if you're moving from scene to scene, then you can have it to where it will refresh that browser or the refresh the source or, or whatever for whenever you go to the next scene or whenever that scene becomes active. But yeah, that is everything I have about the event list. It's very easy to set up, very cool to add to a stream. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. And definitely check out the channel for more helpful streaming tips as well as I cover a lot of tutorials when it comes to streaming. But if you also have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And if you want to share more information about the event list, if there's anything I missed, feel free to add them in the comments as well. That way we all can learn together. But thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.